All modern DSLRs have a built-in meter, so what's the point in using one of these? In this video, I'll show you how and why to use an instant light meter. Whether you're in a studio or out on location, before you start shooting you need to dial in your exposure. Your camera has a built-in meter for this, so why do so many photographers buy an expensive handheld meter? Well, a handheld meter takes an incident reading. It measures the light that falls directly onto the subject. Your camera, on the other hand, uses a reflective meter, which reads the light that bounces back off your subject. It's a bit like measuring how much water is in a bucket by either pouring it into a measuring container or by throwing the water at a wall and measuring how much splashes off. On top of that, your camera is programmed to expose your images according to middle grey. In other words, it wants the reflected light in your picture to have a tonality of 18% grey. And this can cause all kinds of exposure problems. So why does your camera want to expose to 18% grey? Well, back in the 1930s, Eastman Kodak wanted to put light meters into its cameras, starting with the Super 620 and its so-called electric eye. So the company's physicists began investigating printed exposures. They took a thousand prints from a print run, cut them into inches square and measured them with a densitometer. From that they surmised that, to get an average picture of an average subject taken at an average location under average lighting conditions by an average photographer on an average day, 18% will get you into the ballpark. So once you realise exactly where mid-grey comes from, and when you understand that's what your camera is programmed to meter for, it's a minor miracle that our pictures come out at all. To demonstrate, here's a typical scene for a wedding photographer. I want to take four photos of the bride and groom, a head and shoulders, a three-quarter, a full length, and one of the couple holding hands in a field. But the camera meter gives me different readings every time, and I have to change my exposure for each shot. But why? The light on the subjects hasn't changed. What has changed is the percentage of dark and light tones in each image, so the camera has to recalculate every time to reach that 18% middle grey. In this example, I've used the camera to meter the bride, and at f3.2 it's told me to shoot at a 2,500th of a second. Then I've metered the groom in almost exactly the same spot, but this time the camera told me to shoot at a 200th. Again, the light hasn't changed, but the camera is measuring reflected light and then resolving it at 18% grey, so it's massively underexposing the white dress and massively overexposing the black suit. By contrast, an incident meter gives an empirical measurement of the light that's actually falling on the subjects. The reading isn't affected by what they're wearing and it doesn't care about 18% grey. So unlike the camera, it won't change when I meter someone wearing mostly white or mostly black. I can just take a single reading, set my exposure once and then shoot away. So, how exactly do you use a handheld meter? Well, first make sure that it's set to the same ISO as your camera and that it's set to the daylight setting if you're shooting outdoors. Then hold the meter in front of your subject and press the button to take a reading. It'll now show you the exposure to set on your camera. If you want to shoot with a different aperture to control the brightness or depth of field, just adjust the f-stop using the controls on the meter and it'll recalculate the shutter speed for you. Always take your readings from the same place, like the nose or the chin, for consistency's sake. If shooting with multiple lights, you can meter them individually by pointing the meter towards each one and taking a separate reading. This enables you to set your exposure for the key light while also knowing exactly what the others are doing. Just remember when using supplemental lights to turn your meter to flash metering. So stop being confused by your camera meter. Use an instant light meter and get perfect exposures every single time.